Hello, I'm Michelle of the Hastings Branch Library of the St. Johns County Public Library System. And I'm here to, today to talk to somebody very important to us here at the library, and that's Nancy Quattrano, a friend of the library. Now each branch of the library has its own friends group, and they are so very important to us. Not only do they help us enhance the collection, but they also provide funding for crafts for story time, technology for programming, um, money for guest speakers, and so many things more. So thank you for joining us today, Nancy. You're um, very welcome. Let me start by asking you, how does your contribution to the Friends of the Library bring the library from good to great? Um, well, I'm not going to take that on personally. Um, okay. I don't, I don't no, know. You don't do it all. <laughs> yeah, it's not, um, it's not something one person does, but I, I know how, since I've become a friend, I've always been a friend of the library in the sense that I grew up in libraries. Um, reading's always been so important uh, in, our, in our family, in our home. My dad taught me early on that if I wanted an answer to something, I'd better find out a good source to go look it up in. So, um, but being a friend of the library uh, as an adult, as a writer, um, that's, that's really changed my perspective a lot. There's so many things that we can help with. Um, and, and of course, you know, we get to be the, uh, the fundraising arm that can help out with, like you said, program uh, costs and things like that. Um, but I think the thing that's really touched me is, is that we get to be advocates too. Um, and that's a big role to play because libraries are not, you know, you've got to battle for every dollar these days in those budgets. So um, that's, that's been a role I didn't know so much about, you know, when I got into this. And or kind of ambassadors too, you know. So um, I think that that's what helps. That's what makes a difference in a library, I think, is having a friends group that, you know, that'll get up in the morning and battle for them. Well, we are so very grateful. Um, and what benefit does volunteering as a friend bring to you? It helps me to feel that I can make a difference, that, that we can all make a difference, but that I can make a difference in this battle we have with literacy, um, or with the battle we have with illiteracy. Um, because literacy makes such a difference in every aspect of one's quality of life. Um, whether you're a child or an adult, if you can read and comprehend what you're reading, your self-value goes up, your value in society goes up, your, your, home, your whole home situation is going to shift. It's going to be more powerful and more beneficial for everybody in it. So, um, that's what gets me excited about being a friend and being involved in the library is, is the impact we all have on literacy. Yes, absolutely. And what is, what is one thing that people don't know about the friends that the friends do? I wonder if it's not about the advocacy part and the ambassadorship. Um, you know, every, every place we go, we can talk to somebody about the library and the benefit of the library. If someone asks us a question, you know, maybe, maybe do what my dad did with me, you know, say, you know what, there's a great resource for that information at the library. Just remind people how powerful it is. And, and when there's things going on for budgetary reasons, you know, in, in the, in the uh, local political environment, you know, we really have to have to show up there. I think that that is an important thing. And I've learned that from this group. Uh, from, and, and from the, you know, the whole, you know, advisory board and, and my relationship with the other friends groups um, that, that, you know, linking arms and showing up there and letting people understand how important it is for our communities because libraries are hubs. You know, there are community centers now. And, right, they are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think that that's one of those things that I, I don't know that everybody really understands. I don't think so. And I just from my side of it, I don't know that they even understand that all of the experiential things that people do at the library are there because of you. All the supplies, all the things we do with the kids and the teens and the technology um, wouldn't be there without our friends groups. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've seen library systems that don't have friends groups. Um, and you have one or two very exhausted people 
that are trying to do everything and still uh, offer services that benefit their communities. Yes. Um, you know, like our fan, you do, you do that wonderful program on Fridays, you know, where we had, you know, the family time with the reading and, 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 and those kinds of things, you know, a couple of back to back programs that um, they, you know, one or two people can't do that and run the library. Right. Stock right. the shelves and run the library. You know, you know, I'm, it's just, it's, it's too much. Um, mm -hmm. And so I, I feel for, you know, organizations that don't have the benefit of a group of people that'll come in and volunteer and say, okay, we'll take that on. We'll set up that book sale or, you know, we'll put, we'll put those flyers out or, on a, you know, in this environment, you know, we'll, I don't know, you need us to do a video, you know, wh whatever it is that, that you need for us. Thank you so much for being a friend, for speaking with us today, and for all the work that you do for our branch and all the friends do. Thank you so much, Nancy. You are very welcome. Thanks for letting us help. Sure. Thank you for joining us today. And if you would like to become a friend of the library, just stop by your local branch to find out how.